Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to share with you guys the products that I use in my skincare routine. I was debating how to film this video if I film it applying the products on my face, but honestly my skincare routine is very, very basic and it's very stripped down. That video would have only been me washing my face and putting a moisturizer. I honestly don't have an extravagant skincare routine with, you know, all these different products. Honestly, my skincare routine is very, very simple. It's very basic. And I've found through a lot of trial and error that keeping it simple, honestly, has been the very best thing that I've ever done for my skin. Because a few years ago, I used to be one of those people that needed to have a cleanser, a toner, an exfoliant, a mask, a moisturizer, a serum. Uh, so I've completely stripped down my skincare and I've narrowed it down to the very basics that my skin needs. And because of that, my entire skin has completely changed. And I also want to say that for a very long time, I was using products that were completely wrong for my skin. And that was due to me not being educated on what exactly my skin type was and not knowing what products to use to cater to my skin type. And not only that, but I was also using products with a ton of harsh ingredients that I unknowingly, you know, was affecting my skin. And I honestly had no idea why because I used to be one of those people that used to spend quite a lot of money on skincare and I'm talking about name brand high-end department store skincare because in my mind I thought you know the more expensive it is the higher quality it is the better it works you know, I can say that not every department store skincare is like this but the majority of high-end products and low-end but a lot of high-end products, just because it's more expensive, does not mean that it will work better for your skin. A lot of them actually do include a lot of really bad irritating ingredients, such as fragrance or essential oils, which I found out my skin does not tolerate at all. Like I said, for a very long time, I was using products that were completely wrong for my skin because I didn't even understand what my skin type was. So through a lot of trial and error and my own research, I actually found out that I had combination oily skin and sensitive skin. Now I had a time where I was suffering from mild to moderate acne, uh, which I'm not going to get too into detail because I don't want this video to be super, super long, but I did have quite a battle with acne and it was, acne is one of those things that is just completely frustrating and you don't understand you know what to do what to buy you get all of these products and nothing works and trust me I know I it was probably the most frustrating time in my life it got to the point that I didn't even want to leave the house because I didn't want to have to put on all of this makeup to cover my skin and you know still have it show through or the texture of it show through it was a mess through a lot of extensive research I found out that certain things in my diet were affecting my skin and my acne issues but also the products that I was using was really affecting the way that my skin behaved and I just once I found out the truth about ingredients and what we put on our face I just completely threw everything away and started from scratch. So having found out that I had sensitive skin, and just a side note, if you do have acne prone skin, that is sensitive skin because you naturally have skin that is very reactant to a wide variety of things, which is why I really stress doing your research as far as ingredients goes and what you are putting on your face, especially when it comes to moisturizers because that's going to be sitting on your face for quite a bit of time. Anyways, having found out that I have sensitive skin, I really had to start looking at what exactly my skin tolerated and what it didn't. 
And like I said, through a lot of trial and error, I found out that essential oils, fragrance, colorants, and a few other things my skin just will not tolerate at all. It will just go crazy and become red and blotchy and dry in certain areas and then oily. Because the thing about combination skin is that you are dealing with, you know, multiple symptoms. So in my case, I get oily in my forehead and down my nose and my chin. And even like right here in the center part, I do get oily because I do have some pores there. But on the outside of my face, it is normal and in the winter it tends to be dry. For the longest time, I just thought that I had straight up oily skin and I would use products that were catered to oily skin, which in turn just dried me out completely and made my skin even worse. So before I get into the actual products, because I feel like I'm just talking a lot, because I could literally talk about skincare all day, I honestly, I've been through it all. I've used just about everything, and right now I'm at a really, really good place where I feel like I've found my staple products that I will not change ever because one thing about skin, skin is not like hair. You know what I mean? Hair, you can change up products, use all different types of products, you know, as often as you would like. Skin is not like that. Skin, if you find something that works for you, stick with it. Because I've personally found through my experience that when I rotate skincare, my skin just kind of doesn't know how to act. And it is taken out of this balance that it's usually in when I introduce new products and it just it honestly my skin is so sensitive it just starts to react and it starts to just behave very badly so really quickly before I get into the actual products that I have discovered that I now love I really want to share with you guys this website that helped me out so much it's called beautypedia.com and it's part of the Paula's Choice uh, website or brand and beautypedia.com is a website that I discovered, I don't even know how I discovered this website, but honestly, it is an encyclopedia for everything, skincare, makeup, everything, everything. And there, it just shows you all of this completely unbiased research that is backed up by science, by professionals, by doctors. And there you can really assess the ingredients that are in the products that you are currently using. And you can look up products by brand or by name, however. And I was honestly so shocked to see how many of my super expensive products were just garbage. Honestly, they just didn't work. They have irritating ingredients. And no wonder nothing was working for me and I was spending all of this money and nothing was helping me. So anyways, if you guys really want to check out that website, I will leave a link for it down below. It honestly will help you so much in your journey, especially if you have sensitive skin like I do. Or if you have any type of skin, it will really just help break down ingredients that are in these products and it will take away the marketing that you know we become so blinded by because we are literally sold a dream that this product is going to do this, it's going to do that, it's going to help me with this. And honestly, that's just marketing. It doesn't even do half of the things that it claims it does. So long story short, with the help of this website, I was able to find my holy grail staple products that I have been using for the past three years now. Yeah, for the past three years, and I haven't changed it. I haven't changed anything, and I haven't changed it because it works, and my skin loves these products, and my skin behaves so well. I never have issues. The only time I break out now is, you know, hormonally due to that special time of the month. But other than that, my skin is completely clear and I don't even wear a foundation. So I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what foundation are you wearing? You know, what do you use for your skin? And I do not wear any foundation at all. I know that may be hard to believe, but I really honestly have never worn any foundation in any of my videos except my summer makeup tutorial with the orange lips. 
In that video, I had a BB cream, a very light physician's formula BB cream. But other than that, in any video that I've made, I am not wearing any foundation at all. Just concealer under my eyes, around my nose, and a little bit of translucent powder to control my oil. But other than that, I don't wear any foundation. Not because I hate foundation, but because I personally just enjoy having my own skin. I'm really thankful that I have a skincare routine that allows me to do that. And I don't have to cover my skin. And honestly, I feel like... If you have good skin, you shouldn't have to cover it with foundation if you don't need it. But that's just my opinion. So because I use products that are catered to sensitive skin, they are not just catered for combination skin because I don't really use anything that's catered specifically for combination skin. I just base my preference off of the texture of the products. But because all of my skincare products are catered to sensitive skin, I believe that they will work for all skin types, except if you're extremely dry, then you might want to use probably a more hydrating cleanser or a thicker moisturizer. So all of my skincare products have really great, amazing ingredients, and you'll see that a lot of them are from the same brand, because I, not because I want to stick to the same brand, but because this particular brand include some really amazing ingredients for your skin such as hyaluronic acid which is a water binding molecule which attracts moisture to your skin it keeps your skin hydrated uh, niacinamides and ceramides which are just like amazing for your skin as well so which is why you'll see a few products from the same line but the basic point is that all these products are very light and hydrating and they leave your skin really fresh and clean and it just it makes your skin feel good. So first I want to talk about the cleanser that I use. And I'm going to go in step, like in order of how I use these things. So first I start off with my cleanser. And I use the CeraVe cleanser. Formerly I was using the CeraVe foaming cleanser. But I wanted to give this one a try. They're pretty much the exact same thing. Except this one is called the Renewing SA Cleanser. And the difference is that this one contains salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant, and it's also recommended for people that have blemish-prone skin. However, the amount of salicylic acid in this cleanser isn't strong enough to honestly exfoliate or help a ton with acne, but it's still an active ingredient in this cleanser. So this cleanser is catered to normal skin, but I find that it has a really nice light lather that cleans your skin enough, which I find to be appropriate for oily skin types as well, like myself. So I love the fact that this cleanser uh, cleanses my skin without over drying it, you know what I mean? It removes the excess oil without stripping my skin, so my skin feels really dewy and fresh when I use this. This is fantastic. So this is non-comedogenic, which means that it will not clog your pores. It is oil-free. So another great option if you do have blemish-prone skin. I thought I would mention this as well because it is part of my cleansing routine. So what I use to remove my makeup, I should have mentioned it first because I remove my makeup first and then cleanse my skin. But to remove my makeup, I use the All May Eye Makeup Remover Liquid. And this is the waterproof formula which is the oily formula. And I find that this is just personal preference. Some people don't like oily makeup removers. I don't have a problem with it, and I find that for some reason they work better for me. Uh, but it is all preference. So this one is catered to sensitive skin as well. All of All May's products are catered to sensitive skin. This one is also hypoallergenic. And I like this one a lot because it's gentle. It removes all of my makeup everything. I use this with a cotton pad and it removes everything. It's gentle. However, sometimes I find that if you get a little bit in your eye, it can leave a film over your eye. So just rinse with water afterwards. This is definitely not one of those cleansers that you can just use and then just go to bed. No, definitely use this and then cleanse your face. Currently, I am not using any toner. I find that my Skin doesn't need a toner, but I feel like toners are preference only. If you like a toner and you know your skin feels good with the toner, then by all means use it. Just make sure that your toner is alcohol free and doesn't contain any stripping agents 
such as witch hazel or any essential oils. You want to have a really gentle toner so that it's not harsh to your skin. However, some people can take you know these ingredients more than others. But if you have sensitive skin like I do, then please stay away from alcohol and astringents. So right now we are in summertime, so I am currently not using a serum. And I honestly find that I don't really need a serum. I feel like a serum is one of those extra steps that you do if you really like the feel of them or if you have other concerns with your skin that you want to target. I know some serums are really concentrated and can work for a wide variety of things such as dryness or if you have hyperpigmentation you can use a serum for that. So right now I don't use a serum because in the summertime my skin is much more oily and I find that it's just way too much products for my skin all at once. So I just cleanse and then I follow with my moisturizer. So I use two different moisturizers. My daytime moisturizer has an SPF of 30. This is the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. Now, by no means does this control your oils. This is a very emollient moisturizer that I really like for combination to normal skin. Even dry skin can use this. Because it says oil control, you know, you might assume that it is for oily skin, but the texture of this is really quite emollient and it's, pre it's pretty thick. So, but it's not heavy, which is what I love about this SPF. It's not heavy, it blends in really, really nicely, and it absorbs really quickly in the skin without leaving that white cast that a lot of sunscreens can leave. I use sunscreen every single day of my life, so this for me is a must. And once again, this is catered towards sensitive skin and acne prone skin, but I really feel like most skin types can use this because of the texture of the product. And SPF is just so important, and you always want to make sure that you have it every single day, rain or shine. I can make a separate video just talking about SPF and how important it is to me. I wear it every single day that I am going outside because I don't want to expose my skin to the damaging, you know, sun rays. So I love this moisturizer for that. Sometimes I will use this Neutrogena Pure and Free uh, SPF. This is an SPF of 50, a little bit stronger than this one. So if I know that I'm going to be outside in the sun for an extended amount of time, I will mix a few drops of this and I'll show you guys the texture of this. It's more of a liquid. So unlike this one, this is a cream or lotion. This is more of a liquid. And this by itself, I don't recommend using it on its own. You definitely want to mix it with your moisturizer. But once you blend it in, it is okay. And it does leave a little bit of a white cast. But if you really blend it in, it absorbs into the skin quite nicely. And I like it for when I want to give my skin extra protection. Also, CeraVe has a really good uh, SPF of 50. This is the CeraVe Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF Face Lotion. And I like this one as well to mix with this one if I want a little bit more protection. Honestly, SPF is one of those things that you don't want to skip out on, especially if you have uh, pigmentation from acne scars or anything. You really want to ensure that you are protecting your skin from the sun, not only for pigmentation, but also for your overall skin's health long term. So you want to preserve the youth to your skin. And there's the number one anti-aging secret is sunscreen and SPF because nothing ages your skin like the sun. So after that whole spiel about SPF, at night I have a different moisturizer that I use without SPF and this is the CeraVe PM Moisturizer. And oh, I absolutely love this moisturizer. My skin just is in love with this. This is catered to normal to dry skin but because of the texture, don't get taken away by the marketing and you know the fact that it says normal to dry skin look at the texture of products and that's going to tell you if it'll work for your skin type or not and because of the texture of this i love this for my combination skin even oily skin because it is so incredibly light and 
it's just so hydrating. So I'm going to show you guys the texture of this as well. As you can see there. And it almost has like a gel-like consistency. And it just like goes on the skin so nicely. And absorbs so quickly without feeling greasy or heavy. But you still feel like you are moisturizing your skin. If you have very dry skin, I probably would say that this is not so moisturizing for you. You might want to use a serum over this. But if you have normal skin, dry skin, or a combination to oily skin, this is perfect for you. I really love this product. And I use this at night because, like I said, it has no SPF. And it is oil-free. All of these products are oil-free. It has a completely stripped down ingredients and it's just, it's amazing how light it is yet how effective it is. And once again, this has hyaluronic acid, which is that molecule that I talked about earlier, and ceramides and niacinamides, which are just the best skin repairing ingredients. Like, it's honestly amazing. So sometimes I will use an eye cream, like I said, in summertime I find that I don't need to use an eye cream because my skin just has natural moisture. So, but if I do find that I haven't gotten a lot of sleep or if I'm in the winter months and it is cold or my skin is drier, I will use this eye cream. This is also by CeraVe and this is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream and this is such a beautiful product. I really love what this does for my skin because it isn't super thick and heavy like a lot of eye creams can be which is really important if you have oily skin because you don't want to use something that's going to overpower your skin and add too much moisture to your skin because that's when you can get like those little bumps under your eye and, and you definitely don't want that to happen so I love this eye cream I if I use it, I only use it at night or under my makeup when I'm doing my makeup. This works beautifully under concealer, under powder. It's just, it's really amazing. And I'll show you guys the texture of this as well. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just super light, yet it does the job. It's really amazing. And it, once again, it has all the amazing ingredients that the night cream has it in here. So your skin is just going to feel so fresh and moisturized and just really healthy looking. Now, this says that it targets dark circles and fine lines. I don't know how true that is. There are many different causes for dark circles and there is no set cure for dark circles. But if you want something that's really light and moisturizing to your eyes, this is my absolute favorite. It's a must for me, even though in the summer I can't really use it uh, because my skin already is oily. Now I want to include this because I feel like it is part of my skincare routine as well. And it is lip balm. Lip balm is so important for maintaining soft and supple lips. If you find that your lips are really dry or chapped, flaking, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you are applying a really thick lip balm at night to act like a therapy for your skin overnight and to really moisturize and lift up the dead skin. So I always use Carmex. I've been using this literally since I was 13 and it's just amazing. Sometimes it if you are new to Carmex, you will notice a tingling sensation and that's because this does contain salicylic acid and I believe menthol, yeah, it has camphor and menthol in it. So it has a really cooling effect and a little bit tingly. But if you're like me and you know this product, then you're probably used to it. I don't even feel that tingling sensation anymore. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice thick balm and what I do is that I, before I go to bed I will apply this all over my lips go to sleep and then in, in the morning when I'm brushing my teeth I will just take the moisture that's on my lips from the water and I will take either a paper towel or even a q-tip and just go over my lips to really exfoliate and remove any of the dead skin that lifted up overnight while I was using this.
Yeah guys, this is my skincare routine. Super simple, super easy. All you need is a gentle cleanser, a makeup remover, and an eye cream if you need it, and a moisturizer, and that's honestly it. This is all that I do, this is all that I use every single day, and it's honestly made my skin so, so happy in comparison to those products that I used to use that were just irritating my skin and making me break out and giving me blotchiness and it was just a mess. So I'm so, so thankful that I found all of these products and they've been working for me. And I've been using them for the past three years and I have not changed them at all. And I really, really trust this brand, CeraVe. CeraVe to me is a brand that is consistent and it contains really amazing ingredients for your skin without stripping your skin or introducing harsh ingredients or colorants and it's just amazing everything is fragrance free oil free so if you have sensitive skin i really recommend these products they work fantastic and yeah so yeah guys that was my skincare routine thank you so much for watching i hope that was informative and i Hope it wasn't too long. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know and I will do those for you. If you guys want to see my acne story or if you want to see some more information about sunscreen, more DIYs, more hair videos, more makeup tutorials, please just let me know in the comments down below. I will have everything listed in this video in the description box as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.